The 2016 ABC Main Craft Championships began with a speech from a former homeless man from Baltimore. His name is Tomor Knight, and about eight years ago, he joined an ABC pre-apprenticeship program, eventually became an electrical apprentice, and is now a journeyman electrician. His hosts at ABC say he is the epitome of what the industry has to offer to so many young people. Sometimes I think that I might wake up and this is all a dream. I came into this field making about $10 an hour. $10 an hour and was grateful. You know, some days I didn't know where I was going to get my next meal from. So I was off at $10 an hour. I thought, hey, that's great. I'll take $10 an hour. Today I make $52 an hour. Woo! <laughs> is, is that amazing? And with that surprising beginning, the 17th Annual Craft Championships returned once again to the task of informing Maine's high schoolers about the many opportunities that are available to them through a career in construction. I think the championships that are run here are vital because it allows students an opportunity to interact with a number of trades they may not get. As a legislator, I've always enjoyed coming because you can see firsthand how many of these students connect with the trades, start to get the revelation of what they can do. In a society that's changing as much as we are, trades become even more vital because it's, it's tougher and tougher sometimes to get those students who want to take on a job that they think is fairly manual labor. But as we've seen with the evolution of technology, the trades become even more vital with the use of computers within the workplace. Many of those students need to learn those connections early on so they all apply themselves in the math and the science and even in the English areas. There's opportunities in the trades for advancements both in, in your positions and with what you can earn. I mean there are people pulling down over hundred thousand dollars a year in some of the trades and it's work that to them is it's hard work, but it's satisfying. At the end of the day, you feel like you can point to your accomplishments. And that, that's important nowadays. People want to feel appreciated. Skilled labor is a way to do that. One of the biggest things that we face right now, as you've noticed, is a lot of our contractors, the average age of their workers are getting up there. And the biggest thing right now is getting the younger kids involved. And it's great to see here today, a lot of the technical schools and high schools in the state of Maine are bringing kids out and they're truly excited to get working into the construction industry. Um, whether it's hands-on stuff with you know, HVAC work and duct work or carpentry, um, it's really good to see that the kids are truly interested in getting involved. And you know, it's nice for them to see a, a contract like ourselves bring all the different trades together. So we found it was really beneficial to come out and just put our face out there so the students can see what it is we represent and what a project looks like from start to finish. It's better than a classroom environment where they're told something and they're tr supposed to remember it. This they're actually interacting, they're talking with people who know what they're talking about. It's not just one teacher that's saying, oh, this job has this, this, and this about it. You get to actually ask questions that someone will have answers to. I've heard a couple kids say, like, oh, this is harder than I thought, but it's, but it's fun, which it can be if you enjoy it. That's what, it, work is not supposed to be, oh, I have to go to work. It's, you're supposed to be able to say, like, you want to go to work. Because one, you get paid to do something you like, and that's, I think that's awesome. It's really good to see the team working with the kids, because that's what they're passionate about, and you can see that come through in their interactions. And, you know, these kids are genuinely interested, and our instructors, they have a way with the students to really pull them in and get their focus and their attention. And it's just exciting to see that. You know, this isn't just a free day, right? Like the, the day off from school. But these kids get here, and maybe kids show up that really weren't expecting to have the experience that they have. But they get in here and they see, wow, okay, this is good stuff, and I think I might want to pursue this down the road.
Do you have any thoughts about the importance of this type of interaction for the industry? Absolutely. We need to let the young people know that there's a, another sector of, of work out there besides college, not take anything away from that. But with all the, the, especially in Maine, the work we get coming in windmills, solar, the gas lines, compression stations, the T&D work that we got going on. And I've talked to kids today that were interested in all different parts of that. So let them know there's opportunities out there for good, good paying jobs and careers and staying in the state of Maine. We know that this is something that is really a value and the teachers value it, the students enjoy it, they learn something and even the, the companies that participate look forward to this event. It's very gratifying. From one student to another, I think personally, you should come if you get the opportunity. Try get papers in, whatever you need to. Ask mom, ask dad, ask whoever you need. Just get here. I think that you'd really like it because it's fun. It's fun, it's educational, but it's not a typical classroom setting where you're talked at, you're actually talking with and interacting, and that's how a lot of kids like to learn. It's been uh, really beneficial to see the kids and talk with them one-on-one, -on -one, as well as a team, you know, bringing them together to show them what it takes to, to get into the industry. And I think it's been definitely worthwhile, and we'll be back absolutely next year to do the same thing. We look forward to it.